Hello. Just to update you, um, in one of my previous blogs, I shared with you that I um, I got this real like awakening insight that I had to get out of the apartment that I was in because it was not good for my health. So I um, wasn't sure what I was going to do next, and then my friend offered me to stay in a tent in her yard for the summer. And um, it sounded really good at the time. It sounded like a great idea. Like um, the place where she lives, the property is just beautiful. I absolutely love it. And um, you know, we we get along really well. Uh, we have, and uh, we've never spent a whole week together before. But um, so I was really appreciative and really um, kind of thinking that that's what was going to happen. Um, and so we did a trial session um, last week. I went up there with all my stuff, I set up my tent, and um, she, um, she has this laundry room down below her house, and it's got a sink and like a table area, and it's really clean. And so she said I could use that for my um, cooking. Well, it took me a few days to get set up because we were doing a lot of stuff. Um, you know, I didn't have tons of energy, and it was 4th of July, we, there was a party at the house, so um, it was actually a really fun um, first few days. And um, so I was kind of, I was using her house, and, um, you know, she didn't like that. And about the um, fourth day, and she finally said something, you know, and that, like, kicked me into gear to um, get my stuff downstairs. I got a composting bucket toilet going and I got my uh, kitchen set up. So about day four I went um, and I got this shamanic healing session. So in the shamanic healing session um, I discovered there was like a lava rock and this is just symbolic but like a lava rock stuck in my throat and she guided me um, to see that the, there was like a little, like me as a little Trista stuck inside there. She guided me back to being a child and being in the room with my dad and having these feelings of feeling like I was doing something wrong. And, um, and feeling like he was constantly judging me also, you know, me not wanting to give him love. So there was just this, I, it was just this feeling um, pretty much, you know, most of my life, um, you know, there were some, some fun, silly times before I was like eight. I remember like running around like him, like running, chasing us around the house and, um, and giggling and stuff. But I don't know, it's, it was like not too much later when rest of, as far as I remember, it's just like this feeling like whenever he came home from work, like, oh God, is he going to yell at me or is he going to yell at us? And um, not really being comfortable. In the shamanic session, she, um, I was, I was, went back to this, to sitting on this floor playing with some toys and, and he, he was sitting in the kitchen in a chair near me and um, you know I was looking at him and having these all these feelings like what am I doing wrong and and why you know why can't you show me love and it played out this interaction where you know we both were like there was just this wall between us and it was like a standstill like a like a draw and neither of us wanted to give each other love because both of us were so wounded and hurt by each other, rejecting one another. So, you know, I just told him like, hey, look, I'm only four years old. Like, I need an adult here to make the first move. And um, I, I went up and I, you know, got up on a couple, on like some stairs. And this was like little me as a little girl. And I just looked him in the eyes and I said, you know, I. I need your love, and um, and it was really sweet because then I was able to um, envision these scenarios where we were playing together and and hugging and like 
being affectionate and loving and it was like fun and playful and he was just telling me you know like how amazing I am and beautiful and just gazing at me and 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 showing me that love and adoration that um, you know every little girl needs from her from her daddy and um, it just felt like I never got that so so through this session I was able to replay that and it was really um, it was really profound and then the guidance she gave me when I came out of the um, when I came out of the trance was to um, do things that the little girl in me wants to do and you know get be playful and and when I go do something fun to invite my dad along you know metaphorically to invite him along to play and um, also like to get a teddy bear and like kind of like nurture that little girl so that she could be integrated back into Big Trista. So I was working with that and just even the next day, you know, I went into this fatigue and um, kind of this like density cre crept over me. And um, so I, I went within, I went inward and I went quiet and I wasn't really interacting um, too much with my friend. Um, and I don't know what happened exactly, but it, it affected her and you know, um, between me, you know, something about the way I had a few things in her house and the way I shut down like that, um, you know, she wasn't feeling like it was really working and she, and she was like ready for a break and I was ready for a break too and then, but basically she said, you know, I think you need to leave tomorrow and gosh, that something just this the reaction and the 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 rejection and the um, not feeling welcome anymore not feeling like I could be myself and be comfortable in this space it triggered something really deep in me it was like a deep wound and it was painful man and like all I wanted to do was run away and um, so yeah it was just like all this like confusion and like you know, did I do something wrong and um, get me the fuck out of here and, um, you know, I don't like her anymore and, um, you know, I, you know, who's, who's, it was kind of like a power, a little bit of a power struggle, a little bit of control struggle. Um, you know, it was like, wow, like, it was something that was really, it's something that was really old that came up in that, in that exchange. And, um, you know, David G. always talks about um, how the play repeats itself, and the external world, um, the people and events in in the external world will cycle around again in different ways to trigger all the wounds inside of us that are repressed down and that you know are blocking our hearts. Um, and this was such a clear example of someone, you know, this this relationship. Um, you know, we've been friends for a few years now, and it's been getting closer and closer. And then, um, and then having this come up was um, really scary because you know, intimacy is one of my um, it's one of my weakest things, like intimacy with other people. And I know I'm not alone in that. Um, and as soon as some, and as soon as challenge comes up and things like this, I just you know, I'm used to running away. My my south node, um, my past lives, was Aries in the ninth house. So I was like a warrior, a soldier. I was like doing it on my own. I didn't need anybody else. And then Sagittarius part, uh, the ninth house part of it is that um, I had these belief systems and I was like, you know, I know the truth and, you know, very kind of like um, dogmatic. And I can feel that come up a lot with people. Like, and it's been a theme over my life where I'm like, I know the truth truth this is the right one so you know the next so the next morning I was exhausted and sad and angry and I just packed up my shit and we left amicably and I was like really upset and I cried a lot of the way home 
And I felt this pain in me, this feeling, this, I don't even know, it was like confusion and Anyway, so I got home, and the next morning, I was just kind of sitting with this yucky feelings. And um, I got clarity that living in a tent is not going to work for me, and I need to stay in my apartment. Even though it's not an ideal apartment, it's what I have right now, and I'm grateful for it. And um, if I can make it work... Um, if I can come up with $500 a month for the rent, um, I want to live there alone so I don't have to be in anybody's space and worry about, you know, when my emotional stuff comes up, like I don't want to worry about um, interfering or, or putting it on anybody else. So it's important for me to be alone. Um, you know, Pluto's going back and it's going to be, and it's pretty much, you know, it's going to hit it. It's pretty much hitting it within one degree right now, so it's squaring my sun and my Pluto and my north node, and um, I'm anticipating more emotional purging over the next few months. So I'm going to stay in my apartment. You know, the, there's the, the, the part of me, the wound in me wants to just like cut her off and be like, you know, you don't, you know, you did this and you fucked up and, and, um, I don't want to be your friend because blah, blah, blah. And that's the old me. And that's the wounded me. What I see is that this played out perfectly for me to be triggered in this deep way and really be with this, this whatever it was from childhood that made me um, deeply afraid of intimacy. And it's all wrapped up in my dad and my parents. And so, you know, it's been a few days. I haven't talked to her, but um, I'm going to. And, and I'm going to work it out, of course, because she's one of my best friends. And I don't want to run away anymore from relationships. It's really where my, my deepest work lies in intimacy, being vulnerable, being myself just the happy-go-lucky Libra Leo, make nice, play nice with everybody, but, you know, the Scorpio side of me, too, that's, like, deep and dark and not always, you know, I'm, I'm serious these days, and it's not fun. I'm not a fun person, really. You know, I'm not joyful and playful a lot. Coming back to Shasta, it just really gave me an appreciation for um, my family here, my new family that absolutely just loves me unconditionally and it's, it's absolutely, it's so precious. It's precious to um, come back and meet up with um, a woman from the Sangha who, you know, did some clearing on me and, you know, she, she felt really deeply I was holding my mother's grief. And that's part of the fatigue, so she cleared that. And, and then I went over and, and met with another woman and who's sick, and I brought her some food. And um, she taught me how to, um, she really explained what it means to meet something all the way. Um, when the pain and the hurt is up for you to not, to, to not, to not uh, keep the story moving, but to feel it and to bring your awareness into the body and just to feel it and let the energy really like have you and to love it and not push it away and, and let, it, um, let it be there. And um, I think I did that with this, like I, you know, I just cried it out and um, I tried not to put too much story to it. And. Um, I, I see that it's a blessing, like what happened was perfect for, you know, both of us to be triggered and for me to get this clarity about where, you know, where I need to live. So I just, you know, I came back and I, I came back to, like, these mother, motherly figures who just, like, take me in their arms and just love me and, um, I'm really lucky for that and I'm really, you know, I have some, I'm 
not interacting with too many people these days, but the ones, the interactions I'm having are with, um, are beautiful and are um, with um, mostly amazing women. You know, besides David G, um, everyone in my life is um, amazing women. Last week, I went through some of my stuff and I found my journals. And it was just so easy. All of a sudden, I was like, I'm getting rid of this. I'm getting rid of my past. And I threw them in the trash. I wanted to do maybe like a ceremony with fire and stuff. But I was like, you know what? That's too much energy. I'm ready to be done with this. And I'm just, I'm letting go. And that's really a big theme right now, just letting go of my past. And I'm going to do the same thing with all my pictures I've been collecting from the years. I'm going to get rid of most of them. I can't wait to be radiantly healthy and alive and joyful and it's coming soon. I'm going to get rid of all this fucking shit. I'm just going to get rid of the past and everything that's blocking me from being connected to God and from being in this moment, holding myself and being confident and um, able to speak my truth. Okay, that's a really long journal update, but that's what's happening. and. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for watching.